Now we're going to talk about prefabs. A prefab is a collection of game objects that you've stored in your assets. You can then instantiate this prefab either by dragging it from the project view or from a script. Prefabs is a good way of saving time when you develop your game. Imagine an army of fully rigged enemy characters with AI scripts all created from the same prefab. To change the look or behavior of this army you simply change the prefab. Another advantage comes from using a prefab together with the instantiate function in a script. This can be used to instantiate fully rigged AI controlled enemy characters anywhere at any time in your game. It could also be used to instantiate a heat seeking missile with particle trails every time the player fires his weapon. In my example I'm going to create a leaking water pipe, make a prefab out of that and then instantiate that in my scene. I'll start by creating a pipe from a cylinder, scale that a bit, I'll add a particle system for the water, move it up to the end of the pipe here and then I'll adjust some of the settings for that. We'll make the particles a bit bigger and make a few more of them. Add some velocity to it. And a downward force. The last thing I'll do is to parent the particle system to the cylinder. To create the actual prefab, I go to the Assets menu, Create and Prefab. This creates a new prefab in my project view. I can now rename that. Next, we need to add these game objects to the prefab and we do that by simply dragging them on top of the prefab. Now that I have a finished prefab, I can uh, easily instantiate it by dragging it into the scene view. So I'll create a few instances here and place them. Let's say I want to make some changes to my prefab. The first thing I'll do then is actually change one of my instances. So I'll select one of them and then I could change its color for instance. And now as you can see I have one instance that's different from the others. To make these changes apply to all my instances, I have to transfer the changes down to the prefab. I do that by selecting the instance I've changed and then from the game object menu, selecting upload changes to prefab. As we've seen, prefabs can be powerful for managing large number of identical objects, but it's also important to remember that an instance doesn't have to be completely identical to its prefab. It can have some unique attributes while inheriting others from the prefab. In a game, this could be things like enemy characters with different sizes or different number of hit points. 